Hello ROS developers, welcome to a new video on how to develop with ROS. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS for autonomous cars, everything ROS is here. Learn ROS step by step and push your ROS learning with just minutes of video. Hi, I'm Arif and today we are going to look at one of the most common question that we get in our uh, forum as well as live, live chat support. So this is the one. So he says here, I am trying to run a launch file of exercise 2.2 of unit 2 part 2 and there, there is this error coming up. Okay, error. Cannot launch node of type tx22 slash tx22.py. Can't locate node. Can't locate node of this Python file in package this package. So here's another one of a very similar uh, problem. I copy paste the solution code and then launch it. The terminal shows this error message. Error. Cannot launch node of type blah blah blah. Can't locate node this particular python file in package this particular package okay so the solution is actually really simple but it is one of the most common mistakes by beginners so the answer is really here we have to give the executable permission to the file so we can simply do this using this particular command chmod plus x path to your file dot py okay so I'm going to demonstrate this using our Robot Ignite Academy, our online uh, academy where you can find practical uh, online ROS courses using simulated robots. And we are going to use the same course that the questions has been uh, referring to, ROS Basics in 5 days. Let's start the course. Okay, so I'm in the same... I'm in the ROS in 5 days course, unit number 2, topics. Okay, and we are going to look at this particular example. Example 2.2 with this Python code, simple topic subscriber.py. So, okay, let's do this. So, in, uh, in my uh, folders, I have one package, which, is, which I call test exec. Okay, because I'm going to do this test for executable, you can create your own package. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file. Okay, um, and I'm going to copy all this, copy and paste, and then save. So I'm going to save here, here, test exec source, and the name should be simple topic. Publisher.py KC. Okay, so now in. Oops, sorry. So, yeah, we have this particular file. So, first we have to catkey make. We have to run catkey make. Mm, so, cd catkey workspace and just run catkey make. I have to run catkey make because I've just created this. Uh, package so yeah. let it run for a while okay so now cross run what's the name of our package test exact and then simple topic publisher dot py so right okay enter and now it says couldn't find executable name simple topic publisher dot py below this this is found the following but they are either not files or not executable okay there you go this is the problem so we have our package we have our python file but it doesn't work why Okay, let's let's go into this folder using our shell. So cd source test exact 
source again. Okay, ls this. Okay, this is our Python file. So, uh, so the solution is to do chmod plus x and then the name of our Python file. Just like that. Enter. And when we do ls again, it will change to green. Okay, this is the clue that this particular file is executable. Okay, now let's run it again. So just cross run, that's a very simple topic publisher by enter. Let it start up. Hmm, it's taking some time. Let's try again. Uh, Control C and run again. Oh wait, wait. Is that supposed how? Is that how it's supposed to be? Okay. It says what's up? Nothing happened again. Was it not actually true? So I guess. Okay, at least, well, actually, something is something is going on here. All right, no worries. But at least now we we are not getting this error anymore. Yeah. Okay, that means the uh the, the execution, the ROS running is working. All right. So that's good. That's good. Meaning we have solved the problem of this. We couldn't find this. We can't, we have solved this problem, and we have solved uh, this particular problem now. Okay. So, so that's it. That, this is how you solve it. If you, you, ha you have your package, you have your file, Python file, you have um, typed in the correct, you have 100% confidence, you have double, triple check that you have written the correct command, ROS run, your name, your package name and your file name, but it still doesn't work. Then most likely it is just this. It's a problem of uh, the permissions of the file it's, it needs to be executable and this is the uh, command okay so that solves the problem but now I'm going to show you a little bit more what's what's really happening here okay so now we are in uh, this folder source folder so if I do ls again we can see that this uh, file is a is in green so we know it is executable right how do we know? In fact, we can do ls-l. Okay, and you can see that there are these. These are the permissions. You can read, you can write, and x. If you see x, that means it can be executed. Okay. So now let me show you something more. Um, I'm going to make a few more Python files. Okay, the first one is I'm going to click here and do new file. Now this file I'm going to save as I'm going to save in test exec source. I'm going to save as from IDE just say new.py. So the name of the file is from IDE new.py save. Okay. I'm going to create another file, but this time I'm not going to click this new button. I'm going to click on the folder and then right click and then go down new file. Okay, this one I would call from IDE as well, but right click dot py. Okay, so we have two new Python files now. One was created by clicking here, the other was created by clicking right click here. Another one I'm going to use the shell. We to use command touch and the name will be from shell dot py okay so there you go you can see there are three new python files now now what happens when we do ls all right so we can see that from ide new dot py which uh, which is the file that we created using this button it is not executable from ide right click.py 
which we created via right click here it is executable from shell which is we this one is not executable so what does that mean yeah you can see that only uh, these two files have x there okay what does that mean it doesn't matter what it means it's just that if you created the file by clicking here or via the shell you have to uh, give it the permissions via chmod plus sorry plus x uh, from ide new dot y okay and you can see now that from ide new is now in green and has the executable permission let's try with from shell now so from shell of ly ls this l there you go so all four of our python files are now executable so that was all i hope this very short and simple um, explanation will be beneficial especially to beginners of ROS and beginners of the Linux system so uh, if you find it useful please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and click the bell for a new video every day if you like it or not please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area peace out